Yeah, get some of that audio. Yeah, you like that? I just like it. From, from the top. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Darla, and today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how you can make some DIY ballistic gel at home. Let's be real. You're broke, I'm broke, we're all broke. I'm not broke. We don't have money to be spending $100 or more, depending on how big of a gel block you buy, on gel. So, I'm going to show you. <laughs> so for this recipe, most of this stuff, you should already have it in your home. I only had to buy one thing for this, which was the unflavored gelatin. Um, the one specifically that we're using is Knox Original Gelatin. It's from Amazon, it was $15, and this is eight ounces of gelatin. Mixing bowl, you should be able to find any kind of bowl to use for mixing. You're gonna need foil, some type of mold. Um, we are just using this plastic container because I don't have anything else. Another good option would be maybe like a bread pan or pretty much anything that you have that's the right shape and size for what you're gonna be making and can withstand some heat. Something to measure your water. Something for stirring it up. You know what I'm saying? And water. Uh, technically, they recommend that you use distilled water, which we do have here, but since I think most people at home are probably just gonna use tap water, I'm also going to use tap water. What is this, tap? Lastly, what you're gonna need is some time and patience. Why? Because this is not a one day deal. Um, we're gonna start this today. It'll be fully finished tomorrow. So this is kind of like a 24 hour process, not like a same day process. So give yourself some time. Uh, basically the ratio that we're using is for every ounce of the gelatin powder, you're gonna do one cup of water. So there are eight ounces in this box that we have here. So we'll need eight cups of water. My measuring cup can hold two cups at a time, so that's two cups of water. Okay, this is four cups, six cups, and eight cups of water. So this is super fun. They like put it in 32 different packets. We're gonna have to speed this up probably. Now we stir and pray that this works because it looks kind of watery. What you're looking for is like an applesauce consistency, at least at first. And then as it starts to set, it should get like a little thicker than applesauce, like a little extra thick applesauce. Um, so basically we're just allowing it time. So you're just gonna keep slowly stirring and just kind of waiting as it starts to thicken up on its own. You find yourself a woman who can make you some lasagna and some homemade ballistic gel, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and we're gonna move on to this. So I've seen people like try to like butter or pam their containers. I find it easier just to fill it with foil. So later on when you're removing it, it's just a lot easier to take the mold out. I feel the judgment already, stop it. Okay, it's pretty good. Back to this. Oh yeah, there you go. You see this? That's what I'm talking about. It's jiggling going to move this into this and we're going to put it in the fridge for two hours and then we will come back to the next step. Yep, yep. There you go. I don't want to waste any of it. Sorry for all the noise. This is not an ASMR video, I swear. Unless you want it to be. It's not going to be as thick as the one that I showed you because this is going to be longer just because of the size of the container that I use. Chickle, chickle, chickle. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the fridge for two hours and I'm back. For you, it's been one second. For me, it's been two hours and one Costco slice of pizza later. This is what we're working with. Next step, I have a smoking crock pot. Filled it with water. And now we're going to place this in here and we're just gonna wait for it to melt back into liquid form. So 
however long that takes. I'll let you know in a second. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire or anything. <laughs> it's been 20 minutes. As you can see, it is now melted. So the next step here is we're going to safely remove it from here, put it back into the fridge for at least 12 hours. So by tomorrow, when we take it out, it will be ready to go, ready to pew pew. And we're back, another day, another Darla. I put this in the fridge at the end of the day yesterday. Went home, went to sleep, came back. Now I'm at work, here we are. As you can see, it's nice and solid in here. You could melt this down and just remold it again. Um, from what research I've done, I've heard you can do that about like seven times, even after shooting it. So you can reuse it a couple times until you have to make a new one, which is also cool. You'll see right now when I compare this to this as I pull it out. Keep in mind though, this was only $15. This is about $100. And even if I would have spent another $15 to double this up, that would still be significantly cheaper than getting one of these. So And this is what it looks like, as you can see. This one's obviously much thicker, but again, this was 15 bucks and I would have liked to have made it thicker this way if I would have used twice the amount of the gelatin packets, then I could have had something this long and like twice as thick, that would have been more ideal. That's what she said. <laughs> but yeah, this thing's solid. And that's it. That's all the steps. Like I said, it's pretty easy, straightforward, just takes a little bit of time. So let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna try this out this summer. I think it would be a nice, fun activity to do, easy to make and fun to shoot. So let me know. See you in the next one.